All she wants is to be heard. All she wants is to be understood. But most importantly, all she wants is to be happy. All she was is broken. She tries so hard to be so good. Does her family ever see it? PTSD, depression, anxiety, anger. Four of her biggest enemies. Anger may be her biggest. They weigh her down, they beat her up. They make her mind go crazy. She knows what's good from bad. She knows what she shouldn't be doing. But she always seems to do it anyways. She gets herself hurt, the thoughts are too strong. She always makes things worse for herself. All she wants is to be happy. She fights and fights, she tries so hard, she does so good. But then, her feelings get the best of her. Her four big enemies, the stress, the doubters, everything. What the world doesn't know though, is her heart is so much stronger than she can believe. She has so much love in her heart for so much. She has so much love around her. Sometimes she forgets her work, but it's actually during those hard times when she remembers exactly what she is here for. No matter how hard life gets, she will never give up. All she wants is to be happy. What the world doesn't know though, is her heart is so much stronger. She has so much love in her heart for so much. No matter how hard life gets, she never gives up. She finds a new life, she finds a new family. She finds a new world full of everything she ever wanted. She fixes the trauma, she builds herself up. She isn't scared anymore. She knows what to do to help herself. She knows what to do to get her family back. She knows she can have it all. She knows it will take some time to do it. But it all starts with the first step. The school, it's finally shut down. It's all over. The torture, it's over. I'm home. I'm back with my family. But, it's different. No one looks happy. I don't feel happy. I still feel hurt. I feel scared. Do they feel the same way I do? I wonder if they keep remembering the things like I do. Remembering the trauma. I I keep doing things that, I, that I'm not supposed to do. I'm trying so hard to be happy, but how can you be happy when no one around you isn't? What do I do? What do I do? Why is this happening? Why is it not easy to be happy? It should be the easiest thing in the world. The things that could go on inside a person's head. The things that people were forced to believe, to learn. How did this evil cycle begin in the first place? How did we let it get this bad? I mean, some people are so calm and peaceful. Some are anxious and angry. I believe a lot of both, actually. I know I'm both. I suffer with many mental illnesses. I feel like I've pretty much had them all my life. I can tell when people aren't understanding me when I'm having an episode. Even though they say or think they do, I know they don't. Because I always seem to say things that make it worse. I mean, my brain is scattered all the time. I can barely understand myself. How could they?
I never learned things properly growing up. I wasn't allowed to. I always knew that I have a culture. I always knew that it was wrong for them to take it away from us. I never understood how they were able to get away with it for so long. What was wrong with our ways in the first place? I always thought everything about our culture was beautiful. I was always too young to understand. I still don't really understand. I don't even think I want to know. I feel like it would be a crazy thing to hear. And scary. Like, how did it all start in the first place? Did it start with money? Did it start with religion? Did it start with el alcohol and drugs addiction? Maybe mental illnesses or betrayal. Looking at it now, it's really hard to say. Like, who will ever actually know? I don't want to know. But I do know that however it all started, I want to help fix the trauma that it all caused. Help my people and many others along the way get things back to normal. Normal? Is there even such thing as normal? How would a normal peace person even think? How far back does the trauma even go? Is it too late? Look at the world. We live in a world that has everything. How can a person have nothing? There should be enough room in the world to build enough homes for every single family. There should be enough jobs for those who can work and enough resources to help those who can't. No one in this world should be homeless or struggling. Maybe it is too late. Is it? No. It can't be. I won't let it. There's gotta be another way. I don't know where to start though. I'm always scared. I don't know who to trust anymore. What if someone hurts me again? I think the world is too damaged. No. Damn it, Teresa, stop thinking like this. It's never too late. You just... You just gotta take the first step. And start with yourself. That's it. You gotta start with yourself. What do I start with, though? I know I want to be happy. I know that I don't want to be controlled by these illnesses anymore. And I know that I don't want to be scared anymore either. I don't want people to be scared of me. I don't want to hurt people. Or myself. It's so easy to be happy and now I finally have the chance. I know mental illnesses can never be cured. But I do know that we can at least find ways to learn how to manage it. We don't have to be like this. I don't have to be like this. I don't have to be ashamed anymore. It's time to be happy. It's time for a change. It's time to break the cycle. I can't do it here though. I have to go. I can't start fixing myself until I leave and find help somewhere else. It's too damaged to. She knows what she wants and she's not going to stop until she gets it.